What's up, everybody? I'm coming here today to answer some questions that I have recently been asked in regards to my machine and my current setup. If you've seen my previous video, you recognize pretty quickly that I do not have a standard X-Carve. My X-Carve has been upgraded to the 1800 millimeter size using the 1800 millimeter maker slides and the supporting hardware. So in this video, I'm going to break down the things that I have done to this machine as far as upgrades. I will also leave a link in the description from each vendor that I purchased these parts from. So starting off, the very first thing that you'll notice is that it's 1800 millimeters long. That's an 1800 millimeter maker slide that I had to purchase from Inventables. Uh, it requires two of those, one on each side. I think that's pretty obvious. And then uh, you also have to have your extrusions. So I purchased a set of those to go on the base along with more pieces to do the cross braces underneath the wasteboard. I believe I have three of them underneath there, uh, not including the front or the back. The next upgrade that I did is I went with the CNC for newbies seven inch linear bearing Z-axis slider along with their two inch X-axis risers. The benefit of these is it does raise it up two inches. I know a lot of people do go with the Y-axis risers. There's nothing wrong with either or. I just chose to go with the X-axis risers because I felt like they were sturdier. With having the longer setup, I also purchased the stiffeners through CNC for newbies. Those are pretty simple to install, self-explanatory. Uh, with the added weight to the gantry from the slider and from the x-axis risers these were required to keep the machine from sagging in the middle next up i purchased the 269 ounce motors i purchased these from luke at tvd cnc uh, the reason I purchased it from him is not only did he offer the motors, but he also offered the wiring kit. Uh, typically, these motors come with a pigtail. I didn't want to splice wires together. I didn't want a messy look. I really wanted a clean look. And he actually offered a package that would fit the size of my machine. Since I was going up to the 1800 millimeter rails, I needed longer wires. The next thing that I've done is the suck it dust boot. Now I waited until after I picked out my Z slider to choose which dust boot I was gonna go with. I did have to let them know that I had the upgraded Z axis slider so that they could provide me with longer arms. The other thing that I've done is the nine millimeter belts. That's highly recommended whether you upgrade your x carb to a bigger one or you just want to do preventative maintenance. Along with those belts came with the clips. I did get these from TVD CNC as well because they do offer them in the 1900 or the 1800 millimeter size. As far as the wasteboard goes, I just slid in a new piece of MDF and then I reused my Inventables wasteboard. I actually had two of them. So I cut the second one down to size and I installed it next to it and then I cut my surfacing uh, tool path just to make it nice and flat. I did have to move my Z probe. I moved that over here and that's just because the wire for the original location was just not long enough. I always start my carves at this XY right here so it works out fine. I believe that sums everything up that I've done to this. Hey guys and gals. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like and hit the subscribe button. 
I'm going to be putting out more content like this, showing off some of the projects that we do around the shop. We appreciate you coming and hanging out with us for a few minutes. We hope to see you again. Take care.